Former Manchester City defender Benjamin Mendy was found not guilty of rape and attempted rape at a retrial on Friday and the soccer star was overcome with emotion following the verdict. We'd like to thank the members of the jury for focusing on the evidence in this trial rather than on the rumour and innuendo that have followed this case from the outset. This is the second time that Mr Mendy has been tried and found not guilty by the jury. He is delighted that both jurors reached the, juries reached the correct verdicts. The three-week process came to an end at Chester Crown Court in England, where Mendy broke down in tears after learning his fate. The French football player had been accused of raping a 24-year-old woman at his mansion in 2020 after she claimed he asked to see intimate pictures on her phone and told her to get naked. She made it clear she did not want to have sex, but when she went to get her phone off the bed, Mendy proceeded to rape her. A 29-year-old woman also accused Mendy of sexual assault in 2018 when she claimed he walked in on her while showering and tried to force her to sleep with him on his bed. Mendy also faced serious rape allegations made by four women, but earlier this year he was cleared of six counts of rape and one count of sexual assault after a lengthy trial. Benjamin Mendy, who firmly denied any wrongdoings throughout the allegations, is currently a free man. But the question right now is, at what cost? Because this man lost everything. Both his life and career has been ruined forever by false allegations. With regards to his career, his contract with Manchester City got terminated and will probably never get signed by any big team due to the stigma of having been accused of rape. With regards to his life, he went to prison, he lost valuable time and his reputation down the drain. He will forever be known as a rapist in society, even after the not guilty verdict. And the crazy thing about this whole thing is, the accusers will continue to live their lives like nothing happened. No repercussions for them whatsoever. And if you were a man in today's society, you ask yourself that, when would this end? When will society realize that the same trauma that a woman who has been raped experiences is just as equal as the trauma a man goes through for falsely being accused of rape? This also affects the women who actually go through these horrible experiences. Because in a society where men are being falsely accused at a higher rate, it takes away from the real victims who actually go through these horrible experiences because they are not taken seriously. But in the case of Benjamin Mendy, even though all cases dismissed, what is he going to do now? Who is going to help this brother heal? Who is going to be responsible for the damage on his name? And how is he going to have his career back? Many years of investment to become a professional football player down the drain just like that. If you are a man in today's society, you got to be extremely careful of the type of woman you choose to be with. Because shit is crazy out here. Be careful. Till date, the English media has refused to publicly disclose the identity of the females who accused Benjamin Mendy of rape. And also, Benjamin Mendy stated his time in jail had given him time and reason to see life differently and apply more caution while relating with women. After the verdict was made public, some football players took to social media to share their thoughts. Let's take a look at some of them. Real Madrid winger Vinicius Jr. took to Twitter to say, I'm sorry for everything you have been through, Benjamin Mendy. You lost two years of your career, but that's the least of the whole situation. But what about the psychological damage? Surely your life will never be the same. The culture of destroying reputation has made yet another victim. Until when will we be accused and condemned without having the right to basic defense? Fake news are created and spread without checking any facts, which is something I personally felt a lot on these holidays. And then the situation only gets worse. Being responsible will be the minimum for any professional. But nowadays, serious work has become an exception. There is no limit to get more clicks and engagement. My question is, what will be done to repair the damage? Paul Pogba also said, So happy for you, bro. All the people that was talking bad about you, now I want to see them cleaning your name. Can't wait to see you on the pitch again. I hope this man gets the healing that he deserves. Now let me know what you think in the comments down below.